Hello YouTube, this is Bubs Comics coming at you with a comic haul. I've um, really been enjoying everyone's comic hauls uh, this past week and all the contest entries are great. I've really been enjoying it. Um, I've been wanting to do some comic uh, entries, some subscriber entries. Just been super busy. Uh, we took a quick mini vacation this weekend, a little weekend getaway. And you know what that means? That means strange shops. Oh, I love it. Nothing like a good strange shop. So that's what's going on here. Uh, these are all the comics I picked up this weekend. So let's get to it. Here we go. We got the Batman Adventures number three. Uh, you may have remembered from one of my previous videos that I am gonna we're gonna be meeting Kevin Conroy this year. So I, my quest to pick up all these Batman Adventure comics and then have him sign my favorite one. So far, leading the pack is a Killer Croc um, cover. But so far, every cover I've seen has got Batman just getting handed. I mean, he's just getting beat here by the Joker. He's getting beat by the Killer Croc. And I'd like to find one where he's actually winning. Uh, but we'll see. But the, the key points are that for them to be in good condition. And I feel like this one has a couple of spine ticks. But other than that, it's a, it's got a little bit of a corner, corner dent here. But you can't really see that, I know, from there. But... Other than that, I think it's in pretty good condition. So I'm hoping to uh, get some more like this and maybe one where Batman's actually winning. And depending on the price, I may have him sign them all. I uh, picked this up for a dollar. And a strange comic bin. This next one. Okay, so you guys tell me if I had good karma or bad karma. Maybe I'm just getting some back. But I picked up this book. And that is Frank Miller Robocop. Apparently it is the Robo Steel Edition. And it's one uh, limited to 2,000. And it has a front cover like that. And then when you turn it around, it shows the back. And that is just awesome. So it's the back. That's just really cool. I just loved it. Uh, somebody had shown a this same comic. There's a, there's a few editions of this comic. Uh, the Frank Miller Robocop series number one. Uh, this is the Pulsar slash Avatar Publishing Company, and uh, this this is just a beautiful comic. I just love it. Uh, very, very, very happy to own it. Um, did not expect to find this there. Um, in fact, I kind of had one of lesser quality in my floating around in some um, carts that I have <laughs> abandoned, abandoned carts out there. So anyway... Um, I picked this up. It was in the guy had like a key bin, or not a key bin, but like a special bin. And some of them had signatures, and some of them were just key issues, and some of them were just you know variant covers that he thought were worth more. Uh, but his prices were all around pretty spot on to just a little under what you would pay if you tried to buy them online, and a good deal for a shop. But that's about it. So I, I really I really respected his pricing scheme. This had no price on it. So I picked it up and I threw it in my stack and I just took my chances. He didn't do any price checking at the register and he ended up charging me only a dollar. So there's a big win. Uh, in that same series, I found number two. That's Frank Miller's Robocop number two and number three. So big win there. In that same bin, like I said, everything else was priced. So in that that I that I had picked out in that same bin, he had Comic Talk number seven. Now this isn't Marvel published, so I, I'm not really sure what this is about. I need to. I mean, it is. Wolverine is Marvel. It says Marvel uh, copyrighted, but I didn't see that this was actually a Marvel comic, like a published comic. So let's see if you can get in on that. Uh, it says Andy Cooper talks about X-Men number 25 and inside is a bunch of sketch work and some black and white panels, black and white magazine uh, about X-Men number 25, which of course is the um, is the uh, issue where Wolverine gets his adamantium ripped off in the Fatal Attractions um, story arc, which I had um, previously shown in some of my other videos. Those are the ones with the little holographic uh, card built into the covers. Uh, spanned across the X-Men titles. So I picked that up for five bucks. Here is Hulk Wolverine, six hours. It's a little mini series, one of four. Picked that up. Very happy with that. I think that looks pretty good. Here is number two of four. 
So we picked those up. Look at that. That's that's just ugly. That's got to be the ugliest Hulk I've ever seen. I don't know. Uh, I've been collecting Tomb Raiders and trying to get the first volume of Tomb Raider. But my thing is I don't want to buy any of them online. I want to find them in the wild as if there were a true prize that the Tomb Raider would pick up. So that's that's my goal with this. So I found number four. And I'm only missing about uh, 15 up until I came to the shop and I picked up a few. So here's number four, Tomb Raider number four. And it's signed by um, Andy Park, who I, whom I really enjoy uh, his writing and, I mean, his, uh, his artwork. He's some of my favorite um, art. And this is a number... 424 out of 1500 I think it's a dynamic forces yep it's a dynamic forces and it came with the coa and everything with the red line was half off so i got this for like 350 so i was very 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 happy with that oh that comic talk that i had it had a coa also and it was um a special limited series um 2000 limited to 2500 uh, made exclusively for uh, previews. So there you go. And then I have Tomb Raider number nine. That's the regular uh, Andy Park cover, which I really like. That's cover A. And then I also got, I don't know what num letter cover that is, but it's also Andy Park drew this, but it's a gold foil variant. So you see that, that foil kicking in. Now, there's a blue foil variant that's even more rare than this, but I was happy to have that. Of course, that's a Dynamic Forces, so it came with its COA, too. I mean, anytime I can get anything with a COA for under 10 bucks, I'm probably a sucker for that. The Gold Foil Edition, this one's limited to 1,500 copies. And that's Tomb Raider number 9, Gold Foil Edition. Pick that up for 350 And then here's number 9, Sketch Cover Edition. Another Andy Park, and that's probably one of my favorites, even though it doesn't have the dynamic forces, it's not signed or anything. But I really, I really enjoy this cover. I just think I, I, I'm, I'm a sucker for sketch covers. I think that looks fantastic. Here's a Tomb Raider number 26. And here is a Tomb Raider. I think it's 21. It's like a special edition. Uh, it was the A cover, but it has like a black wrap. And then inside is the regular cover, and it just says Tomb Raider starring Laura Croft. And I just think that's really cool by itself. I think it's cool. Uh, Captain America, number 405. Um, picked this up at a, uh, basically a pawn shop that was listed. And when you Googled for comic shops, it came up as an option. So I was like, okay. So I went there. Nothing was categorized. Everything was a mess. Um, I, he had three dollars on it. I got it for two bucks because who pays full price at a pawn shop or anywhere? Usually, when you're dealing with me, I, I hate paying full price for anything. And I just anything that's like this that's just been assigned to value. I mean, if you bought something like I don't go to Walmart and start trying to haggle for a cheaper TV, but when when I go to pick up collectibles and I just see a price, I you know I basically laugh at that price. To me, that's a starting point for negotiation. On almost everything uh, the only thing I don't haggle price on would be uh, you know new issue comics that have come out you know that are cover price I don't I don't haggle about that but everything else I do and even on the new issue comics I try at least get a bag and board out of the deal and uh, maybe if it's a I mean, if I spend enough I start trying to work them for some top loaders and things like that so <laughs> now I've, I've, I've had partners if you will in the past or just friends or whatever you know that go with me in places like this and they're like embarrassed by that and I don't know why. I, I don't feel like I act poorly. I think I'm very respectful. And, you know, I'm not a jerk about it. Uh, just I just know what I'm willing to pay. I know what I want to pay. And it's worth more to me if I can get a good deal. And if I don't feel like it's a good deal, I'm not opposed to walking away. So, you know, a lot of people will bluff that. And if you're if you don't truly have it in you to walk away from a deal that you think isn't good, then don't even start the negotiation process. For me, I can walk away if I think it's a bad deal and I know that I'll come across it again and it will be a good deal when I do. So anyway, this is Captain America number 405, Cap Wolf, um, part four of six, trying to complete that run of the, the Cap Wolf run because it, it co-stars Wolverine or he's like, you know, a featured uh, member of the cast in these. 
So just missing two of them, I think. I think I'm missing number one and six, and I had three, four, and five. Uh, this, uh, we, they had a books a million, uh, at the resort or next to the resort we were staying at. So this one is, um, we can pick this up out of their dollar bin, Lady Killer number five. That's Lady Killer volume two, uh, number five. I have volume two, number one, and there's only five in this series, just one through five. And I have number one, which was a contest winnings from Silver Age Dave. Thanks, Dave. And here is... James Bond Kill Chain number one. This is the last series of James Bond that I have not collected all of. Um, all the Dynamite James Bond series I've collected, except for this one. So, and it's because I was trying to find some of it in the wild, and it's one of the more recent ones that just came out last year. I think there's six issues, as there generally is. So this is number one, so I was super excited to get that. And for a buck, it books a million, so you can't go wrong with that. Uh, and I'm a, I'm a member of the Millionaires Club, so you get like 10% off everything. And if you buy stuff online, you get free shipping. So it's pretty cool. So I was happy with that. And I also picked up a couple of comic book frames. Um, and I'll feature them another time, maybe in my next video, because this one's already over 10. So that's it from Bub's Comics. That's my quick vacation comic book haul. It was funny. I picked up, I brought a stack of books to read. And it was the same size as a stack of books that I bought while I was there. So, <laughs> brought a collection and doubled it. Um, but that's all. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this last comic off just so we can all enjoy that right there. Oh, yeah. That's sweetness right there. You're welcome, everybody. I did that just for you. Well, actually, I did it for me. But I'm glad you're along for the ride. All right. Thanks, everyone. And thanks to my wife and family for shopping with me and hunting with me and getting you know, exercising your fingers through the boxes. Um, we really had a great time. Just a fantastic family vacation. Just had a ball. And uh, some sweet deals on comics always makes a little bit of extra icing on the cake. All right. Thank you all. Be good to one another. And, uh, you know, if you ever forget how to be a hero, read a comic book. Thanks. Bye.